the majority of them uh, found some more, you little bastards. This is probably about a third of what I ended up actually getting off. So they are pretty sneaky little animals. It's gonna be the catchphrase of today's video, you little bastards. Little bastards. All right, guys, bit bummed out because I found scale. Gross! On one of my Thai constellation propagations, whole bunch of it. Um, I've checked out all the other leaves that I took when I propagated it. So the problem was, not just was it on a plant in my collection, but it was on a plant that I propagated and had spread the propagations out into different areas. Should have checked it more closely, but anyway, this thing here is covered in scale. I will show you some video of it and I am going to attempt to get rid of it. I've got a little container here or a crucible to put some of them in to show you later on. And the main method of attack is going to be just using a cotton bud and some isopropyl alcohol to just scrape them off all mechanically, I guess. Anyway, I thought I would share the experience and give you a look and I guess I'll give you guys some updates about how it goes and if I find it anywhere else in the collection. So now I'm gonna have to go through with a fine tooth comb and make sure that this stuff isn't anywhere else. But um, yeah, a bit bummed out. Okay, so from what I understand, scale is an invertebrate parasitic species that lives on these plants um, and sucks the sap out of the plant and does damage to it. You can see here, that looks like it's a dead one. Uh, let's see if I can find you some live ones. Okay, so here is a juicy bunch of them all hanging out. From what I've seen on the plant, they seem to hang along these large veins on the leaves. So obviously there's a lot of nutrient and water flow up and down these parts and they're easy to dig into and suck the sap from. The good news is these guys seem pretty easy to remove. You could just scrape them off with your hands or with a, a you know a toothpick or something, but I'm gonna try the method that I've seen online, which is using a cotton bud and alcohol. So because it is night, I've come into my office here where the cutting was and I've turned on a ring light just so that I've got a bit more light so that I can see. I can actually see a whole bunch underneath the leaf, even from here. Oh man, I can even see their shadows through the leaves, little bastards. So this, this leaf is definitely infested and I kind of, it looks fine to be honest. Like I didn't notice until I had a quick squeeze closer because today I actually released a, a video on spider mites and I was having a look at some of the plants to just see, can I see any of these spider mites going amongst, oh, uh, spider mites. Predatory mites to deal with the spider mites. So I released those, Persimilis, I think it is. Yeah, Persimilis, the genus. Anyway, so I was having a quick look and I was like, wait a second, these guys don't look good. And that's how I ended up spotting them. Anyway, let's get in there. Let's dig in and try and get rid of as much of this stuff as we can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take some of this, this is actually hand sanitizer, but it's 70% alcohol here. So I'm just going to spray in a whole bunch. You could just pour it out of here, but I'm too lazy for that. And I'm going to soak my cotton bud in a bit of the alcohol. Oof, smells really strong. And see if I can get rid of some of these guys. I'm gonna have multiple hands. Just turn this back off. See if I can turn this guy around a little bit. Give you guys some light and I'll see if I can show you what happens there. Yeah, I guess he just sort of perishes straight away. I bang straight out of the, out of the mix and into the alcohol you go. Bugger off, mate. See you later, alligator. Is there more? Looks like one. So I'm just gonna go up and down the stem here for these wrap bags and trying to just scrape them off. Fortunately for me, it's just a single leaf of a cutting. I can imagine this would be such a pain in the backside if you had an entire plant, especially an expensive one that you loved, covered in these things. It would be nearly impossible. Hopefully the alcohol kills these if I can't scrape them off. I wish I had a microscope, guys. It'd be really cool to kind of have a look under the microscope and show you the anatomy of these dudes. All right. So I'm gonna have a look up the leaf here. Slide this down. Is there anything hiding in here? Nope. Ooh, we've got a whole bunch. We've got a whole bunch hiding over here. There we go. Can we get focused on those? Sorry about the mess in the background, guys. I'm actually watching myself do this through the phone. That's the easiest way for me to both film and kill at the same time, eradicate. Get out of here, you bastards. 
stop damaging my Thai constellation. All right, Did the whole bunch. Let's have a quick look. I wonder if I can get a close up here. There you go, little rat bags. Okay, so this is taking a while. I'm gonna um, set the phone up and give you a montage and keep going. Okay, so that was probably about 10 or 15 minutes of me fluffing around. I noticed that the majority of them... Uh, I found some more, you little bastards. It's gonna be the catchphrase of today's video, you little bastards. Um, I noticed that they really like the veins, obviously, so that's where they're hanging out. So I was checking all of the large veins on these leaves and they would tend to be on either side of these veins all the way up and down. So they're actually pretty easy to remove. You just rub the cotton bud up and down. You can see this is probably about a third of what I ended up actually getting off. I ended up just, I don't know, they, they'd get all squished onto the end of the bud or they'd fall off um, after they were alcoholed. So I think what I'm gonna do now, there's some more dead ones on here. I'm just gonna check over this one more time, see if I've got the bulk of them. Oh, I can see a few more little bastards. There's a whole bunch on the top here. Rat bags. All right, there's a little bit more to remove, but yeah, they're pretty easy to see. You can kind of see this lump where it shouldn't be between the vein and the rest of the leaf uh, along those veins, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get some paper towel and just spray that down with alcohol and try and give it a good scrape to just get everything off. And when I mean scrape, I mean, you know, just wipe down the leaves kind of firmly. So yeah, I'll give you some more shots of the ones I just saw. Okay, so you should be able to see one there in the middle. I think there's another one there in the center on the leaf or a bit away from the vein. And then I think, oh, look at that. There's the spider mite. That's one that I released today. So he's off doing his job. There's another one here in the center. I can tell that's a, this one at least is one of the beneficial mites because it's red. And the spider mites that I had were white. There's another one there. And there's a few more up here. So I obviously missed that spot. Look at that, some more there. Another one there, another one there. So I'll do this top part again with another cotton bud and then go over with an alcohol towel. But I sort of, I don't want to kill that little mite. Where did he go? I think you're gonna be collateral damage, mate. Sorry. There's actually a whole bunch of small ones here I've noticed too. Wonder if you can pick those up. They're sort of yellowy in color. So they are near this vein that's going off over here. There's another one down here. And there's one away from the leaf, or from the vein, sorry. There's one away from the vein over here too. So they are pretty sneaky little animals. Okay, so I've got some wet wipes. I've got a one-year-old daughter. So still changing nappies. I might use that because it's a little bit softer, but I will give it a good spray with uh, this hand sanitizer, which is about 70% alcohol. Just really gonna go to town, try and get it to be completely wet and then just give this thing a wipe down on both sides as firmly as possible. Again, sorry about the shitty angle. I've got nothing else that I can put the uh, phone on for now. So anyway, I'm just scrubbing, sort of rubbing firmly over the top, making sure I didn't miss anything, going down the veins. The alcohol should just evaporate off pretty quickly. So hopefully it doesn't do any long-term uh, physical damage to the leaves, but hopefully it does do long-term physical damage to the scale. All right, one side done. Okay, now last but not least, the petiole. And I noticed the petiole here had actually quite a few, especially in the sheath here on the side. I ran the cotton bud up the inside of this sheath and pulled out some whoppers, some big ones. So they know where to hide. And there was some large ones even on the butt of this cutting down here. So. Hopefully I've eradicated the majority, but I would imagine that I've probably missed one or two, so I'll just have to keep an eye on this thing in the future and make sure they don't come back in droves. All right, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get it, guys. The other thing that you'll wanna remember is to wash your hands, which I've just gone and done, and also to probably keep this plant away from other plants, or at least not touching them. It's probably fine, it's probably fine, you know, disclaimer. I'm not an expert, but I would assume it's probably fine to have them near other plants as long as the leaves aren't touching the other plants. But I would 
Let's get another one. Little bastard. Yeah, they get into the ruffles of these Thai constellations as well. Jesus. Yeah, so I imagine it's fine to have the plant near other plants as long as it's not touching them. I don't think these guys are going to sort of fly from one to the other, though I should probably learn a little bit more about their biology. Besides that, it probably goes to show that you should check the plants when they come in thoroughly. I didn't really do a very, very close-up check, and this is the first time I think I've actually seen scale in real life. I've only been doing this a few months now, and prior to this, I had seen it in videos but never actually encountered it in real life so yeah stick to looking at the veins I've noticed too where you've got variegated plants you can kind of see that the shadow is actually pretty thick through the variegation if it's uh, white variegation or clear variegation that goes through the entire leaf all the layers and you can kind of notice where there's a shadow from one of these guys along the vein so yeah, if you're getting a variegated plant of some kind, definitely check out the variegation first along the veins to see if you notice anything. Um, and besides that, yeah, just get some isopropyl alcohol, some cotton buds, and just have at it. But I'll keep you guys up to date and let you know if anything else happens. And if I notice them anywhere else, I'm gonna have to now go and check all of my other expensive plants as well. Well, all of my plants, but just keep an eye out on um, the expensive ones in particular to make sure that they're not damaged too much. So. Yeah, a bit of a bummer, but hopefully we can turn this into a learning experience and you guys come away better equipped to encounter these in the future if you have them in your collection and get rid of them. Okay, bummer. I've just realized these two cuttings, the one over here, the one that I've just spent all that time doing, actually came with this one and this was the top cutting and this actually has scale on it as well so i'm gonna get into that and um the carnage continues okay some good examples of them on the petiole the leaf you'll be able to see one two they also hide up in the ruffles here so be sure to check those I'm trying to see if i can see another one here there you go that's one let's keep going down the petiole what else have we got here there's another one in the center there there's another one Oh, there's another two, another two. How are we going here on the petiole? Check out this cheeky family. It looks like they're playing tag. Little rats. Okay, so the final filthy tally. Probably a hundred or more of these guys were on the three leaves. This one over here, that initial one that I did, and then the tip cutting that I found from the same plant that also had a whole bunch on it and fortunately I went through and tried to check all of my plants in here pretty thoroughly uh, at least as best I could without getting every single one of them out and I found only one and it was on this elbow that I have here and it was a big one so I don't know how it got there but it was just by itself and I removed it and thankfully I couldn't find any of them elsewhere knock on wood but I'll have to just keep an eye out for the next few days, few weeks, few months, perhaps the rest of my life, and um, keep up the good fight and try and keep my collection free of pests. Anyway, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, to be honest, it was just a little finicky, a little fiddly, using the cotton bud with the alcohol, wiping it down with the alcohol afterwards, and obviously I'll have to just keep a close eye on it in the future to make sure that that stuff isn't in here, because I can imagine if you just left it alone, those things would reproduce exponentially and cause a big problem, right? And get into all of your happy houseplants. I should add too, one of the cool things that I did notice when I was going through these guys and having a look was all of the beneficial mites that I had let go, the predatory ones. I actually saw them on quite a few different plants. So they're doing their job, they're hunting, they're running around and hopefully tearing the throats out of any uh, spider mites that I may have on my collection. I guess lastly, I have actually moved these guys back now about a foot from where they were and made sure that they're not touching one another nor any of the other plants. Again, I'll have to do a little more research because I'm not sure if uh, scale are able to disperse really easily through flight or perhaps crawling on the ground, but I imagine that they go from leaf to leaf. So hopefully that is a good enough quote unquote quarantine for these guys. It's kind of a trade off. I want them to keep getting light. I want these guys to root. Well, this one's rooted, but I wanted the water to root and I don't want to infect the rest of my plants elsewhere. So I'm kind of just dragging them back and leaving them there in the naughty corner for now. Sorry about my voice guys. I've been sick and coughing like crazy. So my voice has gone a little bit. Anyway, I thought it'd be cool to share this. So I'm Pete, this is Pete versus Plants. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Peace.